we understood what are the different types of goods in economy let's now understand the stock flow and circular flow of income see when it comes to stock variables they are defined as any quantity which is measured at a particular point of time okay so examples would be machine in a plant what is the amount in the bank account as of now population of a country as of today so that would be stock variable when i'm talking about flow variable it is nothing but the quantity which is measured over a period of time so remember flows are changes in the stock which can be measured over a specified time period for example population of india during the month of july 2017 now don't get confused between stock and flow variable to remember what is stock what is the flow variable remember stock is nothing but the still photo of a camera so when i'm using a camera it's a still photo so as of now that picture comes when i'm talking about flow variable it is nothing but a camera recording a video so that's the difference between stock variable and flow variable okay so examples i gave you already for both of them now let's quickly understand the difference between the stock and flow variable so in stock remember it would not have time dimension okay there would be a time dimension as per hour as per day as per month now this is a static concept when it comes to stock flow is considered to be a dynamic concept now let's quickly understand the circular flow of incomes see what happens here is this is a never ending cycle which keeps on happening in an economy so there would be a production phase wherein goods and services are produced okay there would be generation of income so that income is being given to the households that is the factors of production so people like you and me who are working in the factories in the offices they would get that income so from production phase we move to income phase wherein the distribution of income happened now because we have the salaries we have the income so what is happening we will go and spend it okay so the expenditure phase would happen now because of expenditure again the income will flow to these industries manufacturers that is the producers so again they will continue with the production okay so this cycle keeps on going it is a never ending cycle of an economy now let us understand this in the circular flow of income what are the sectors involved see the first is a household sector who are these these are the consumers of goods and services which are produced in an economy now they are also providers of factor services that is they will work in the factory okay they would be a resource wherein they are working in the factory they are working in the offices so all this are the household sectors that is people like you and me who consume goods and services and we also provide services that is factor services to the producers then comes the producing sector these are engaged in the production of goods and services so these are the firms as commonly known as who are producing the goods and services to be consumed in the economy what is a government sector see this is a sector which is engaged in such activities related to taxation subsidies as well as consumption and production so basically this sector is purely into the taxation what would be the taxation policy they would understand how much subsidies need to be given how much should be the consumption or how much should be the production okay when i'm talking about the rest of the world so that apart from these sectors whatever is remaining that would be the rest of the world and we would be engaged with them by way of exports and imports now let us understand the types of circular flow of income see for that we need to understand what is a real flow that's the first type of circular flow of income it is nothing but exchange of factor services by household so when people you and uh, me go and provide the services to the producers that would be the factor services which are being provided okay for the goods and services which are produced by the firm so this is also termed as physical flow 
ओके ना फैक्टर सर्विसेस कुड बी ऑन्टरप्रिनोरशिप कैपिटल लेबर लैंड आई हैव बीन गिविंग यू ओनली वन एग्जाम्पल सो फार विच वॉज रिलेटेड टू लेबर ना रिमेंबर इट कुड बी इन फॉर्म ऑफ ऑन्टरप्रिनोरशिप इट कुड बी इन फॉर्म ऑफ द लैंड विच यूर गिविंग और इट कुड बी द कैपिटल विच इज देर सो ऑल दिस वुड इंक्लूड इन द फैक्टर सर्विसेज विच आर प्रोवाइडेड ओके सो डायग्रोमेटिकली सी रिमेंबर द फ्लो ह्योर इज that the goods and services flow from the firms to household so the household would expend on that and then the income goes back to the firms now the next comes your money flow what is this these are the factor services by the households okay which are exchanged for monetary compensation okay so households expend on the goods and services and the firms would pay rate interest and wages see when i'm talking about individuals they would provide the labor so they would get the wages okay the land would earn a rent on it or let's say money on it okay for example capital would earn a interest so these would be the factor payments which would flow from firms to households and then household will go and expend on the goods and services now the next comes again the money flow but when the financial institution gets involved that is the banks okay so here the flow will not change but the fraction of money will get saved so households will now not expend everything on the firms there would be some money which would go to this financial market okay so same thing would continue that is the factor payments rate interest and wages would be received and the household will continue expending on goods and services but then not 100% some of that would get saved so these are the different types of circular flow of income 